Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch in DIYs. In today's video, I'm sharing my fall decorations with you. I am showing you how I decorated my house for the fall season. And I want you to keep in mind that my house is very small, so sometimes it is a bit challenging to uh, make some videos in certain areas. So for those areas, I just kind of uh, made little clips videos on what it looks like when it's done. So I hope you like it and let's just get started. The first thing we're going to do is decorate the kitchen nook and I am going to put my curtains up these are nice sheer curtains and it has a little bit of a brown kind of stripe going um, through the curtains which I think gives a nice like warmer feeling. Now I'm going to decorate my shelf. I already have some stuff uh, left on it from previous decor and I'm going to put uh, this vase which I filled with some um, fall embellishment. So I'm going to put that right here on the top corner. I picked up this beautiful squirrel on top of a pumpkin ornament at Winners. So I'm going to put that right here. And this rope spool, I use this in every single one of my decor and it's almost always on that shelf. I just love it. And I'm just going to put one of these silver pumpkin next to it and a little bit of um, berries and greeneries. This is the very first piece of fall decor I have picked up at Winners. This was the whole inspiration for my fall decor. So all the colors into it are the colors I went with. And um, I'm just going to place this um, right here underneath my shelf. Fox is one of my favorite animal. And when I found this piece, I just had to pick it up. I just couldn't leave it. I am absolutely in love with this frame. You see my tear tray uh, already on the table. I have a video um, and I can put the link down below uh, on how I made this um, tear tray. And I'm just placing my uh, placemats. And I also picked up uh, these pumpkins um, at the dollar store and they're nice and simple. And I don't wanna crowd it with anything else because uh, the tear tray is already really busy, so I'm going to keep everything around it quite simple. This is an old ashtray stand that I picked up at a thrift store and a whitewashed. And I'm going to use as a plant stand in the corner here um, by my window. Uh, I am actually not going to put a plant on it, but rather a flower uh, arrangements uh, that I made for fall with some uh, fall leaves and pumpkins and a little bit of rusted greeneries. Now I'm going to decorate the this side of my kitchen counter. Uh, it's very, very small, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these uh, cake stand uh, riser in the corner and pick my cookie jar and put it on top. Putting my uh, spoon rest uh, right next to it here. And I'm going to take um, this 
cutting board that I picked up at the thrift store and I'm going to decorate that. Now on this side, I'm going to put this board that I picked up at the thrift store and I'm going to simply uh, put some pumpkins um, in front of it and I am going to also uh, put some pumpkins that I have made. I will link um, the video down below so if you want to see how I made these pumpkins, uh, you will be able to create them yourself. And now on this side, I'm simply going to put some berries and some extra pumpkins just to finish the look a little bit. I made a copy of my frame and I had this um, wooden board that I picked up at the thrift store so I simply uh, modified it with a picture of my fox on it just to blend my decor throughout my kitchen and now I'm just going to add a few pumpkins in this corner. Now I'm simply going to add a white tea towel um, on my stove handle. Uh, these are the Radon. I really love these so just going to use one of these. Now it was very hard to videotape me decorating the top of my cupboard on that side so I simply made a video and took some pictures to show you um, what decorations I used and just to give you an idea uh, of what it looks like above my uh, counter. Now I'm going to decorate my magnetic um, board for that I have made for myself. I made an extra frame with this fox and I'm just going to simply add some decorations to it. If you want to know how to make this board, I do have a video and I will post the link down below. Now this is kind of my coffee area, so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this area and I'm also putting a tear tray on this side. Just to add a touch of color to all these white uh, jars, I made this uh, bead uh, garland to put around my teapot, again with a copy of my fox. Now I'm going to decorate my tear tray and I will have um, quite a bit of DIYs on this tray.
I've made myself two new mugs using the sublimation techniques and I want to have really easy access to these two mugs so I'm simply going to hang them on the side of my cupboard. Now I'm going to show you what above the cupboards looks like on this side. And now I'm going to show you the kitchen all together. My little back porch is way too small for me to videotape in there, so I'm just um, showing you some pictures of the final result. Now I'm going to decorate around my TV area. I picked up these beautiful uh, candlestick at the thrift store, so I'm definitely uh, using these. In this wooden box, I have the ashes of my 15-year-old golden lab uh, named Nala. And it's very important for me uh, to have it in my living room as I need to feel that she's still with me.
I need a lot of blankies and throws handy at all times as I have four dogs and they love to cuddle with mama on the sofa so I make sure I always have some blankies available. As you guys may not know, I have a princess in the house. Her name is Rosie. She is a long-haired chihuahua and she's 12 years old and she has her own sofa and blanket. Now I'm going to decorate my coffee table. I am going to leave this uh, very simple uh, because we do eat a lot of snack while we watch TV. So I just wanna have some room to put our snacks. Now I'm going to decorate the wall here with uh, my big comfy chair and my three shelves. I uh, uh, painted all these leaves. They were bright orange from the dollar store and that really doesn't work for me. So I painted all the leaves that I'm using throughout my house today along with all the berries that I've used uh, in the kitchen as well and the ones that I'll be using in this room.
I have made this nice pillow with a knoll um, sweater that I bought from the thrift store along with multiple little pumpkins uh, throughout the living room and on the mantel. I'm gonna go ahead and put my curtains up. These are the same curtains I have put in the kitchen. It's a nice sheer see-through curtain with these beautiful uh, brownish sand color um, lines going on the bottom. It makes it nice and uh, gives it a more of a rustic feel I find. I really like them. Now I have this little wall between my window and my door um, so I don't have much options for that so I opted for a nice rustic um, kind of rack. Uh, it has shelves on it as well so it works for me. I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this. This is one of six mini pumpkins I made from that thrift store sweater.
Now we're gonna go ahead and decorate my favorite, which is the mantle. I'm gonna put some of these leaves and I also put a round black metal mirror above the fireplace. I have purchased this beautiful basket at the thrift store. I couldn't get over uh, the fact that I found this piece. It has beautiful wooden uh, wheels on the bottom. I am actually probably going to paint those later on, but it suits for now. And I put some cushions in there to fill the basket so I can go ahead and decorate it.
these berries are from Michael's, but I painted them to suit my decor. I have DIY this piece. This is actually a bird nest from the dollar store and I just uh, chained the top part of it. I do have a video on how I made this and I will post the link down below. I have purchased this beautiful vase at Think Kitchen or Stoke um, and I just embellished it with some uh, fall uh, leaves and pumpkins and so and I'm just going to put that uh, in front of my fireplace. My wood stove is a, an electric um, fan, so I'm just going to hide that wire for now. Well, that's it for this video, folks. This is my fall decor. This is my small house. It's small, but it's very cozy and inviting, and we like it that way. That's fine. And um, if you like what you see and you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up. This really helps me grow. And I want to hear all your comments down below, what you like, what you don't like, what you would have done different. I want to hear all about it. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, well, this is a perfect time to do it. So until next time, have yourself a great day.